Banksy is a true worldwide phenomenon and became the first street artist to become a household name, elevating the previously overlooked art form to the level where even your mum has a tea towel with his pictures on. So what's the problem? Well, Banksy is f***ing sh Hello, welcome to Rob Mulholland Has An Opinion, the show where I, Rob Mulholland, have opinions about things. And this one, I'm sure, will be very, very popular. Because the thing is, I'm a big fan of graffiti and street art. I absolutely love them. So why don't I like Banksy? It's kind of that question that's the fucking problem. It's like being super into indie music and having everyone you meet going, Oh, do you like Coldplay? Banksy is a root one posh boy hack with six form ideas. Like everything he does is so basic and literal and on the nose. I just feel like looking at his work is like speaking to some ex-public schoolboy first year philosophy student at 5am in a kitchen. Yeah, right. The uh, thing about Parliament is, um, they're like all monkeys. Yeah. Instead of throwing a Molotov cocktail, why don't we throw flowers at the police, man? Like, there's nothing wrong with art being simple to understand and graphic and bold. I still feel like Banksy ever elevates an idea above just, like, the first thought he's had. When it, like, when he wanted to make a point about global poverty being an elephant in the room at an art exhibition, he put an elephant in the room. That magnificent creature being forced to wander around a fucking Soho art gallery looking like Bar Bar the Elephant. Like, Banksy produces t-shirt slogans, not art. Like, this is why he's so popular. This is why he's everywhere. Because you don't need to do any work to understand what he's saying it's right there in front of you bang on the fucking nose with no nuance no extra thought no extra layer to it no ambiguity where you can find yourself in the work nothing it's just look a rat and on the subject of rats this is a big reason why i don't like banksy he's a fucking thief and a hack if you're sat there thinking like oh but i like this one of banksy's works he's probably stolen the fucker let's play a little game right i'm going to show you three photos of paintings of rats and you're going to tell me which one is the real banksy right here we are number one or is it number two is it number three? Trick question. They're all by Black Lerat, a French graffiti artist who predates Banksy by a fucking age. It's not like Banksy hasn't seen these works. Black Lerat was like an icon of the street art scene. And like Banksy, as someone who was in the street art scene, specifically in stenciling, definitely knew who he fucking was. And just ripped off every one of his ideas. Black does a rat. He does a rat. Black does a chimp. He does a chimp. Black does a bloke with a telly on his head. Banksy does a bloke with his tally on her head. This is too much to be fucking coincidence. The bloke is a fucking thief. If you're enjoying this video, make sure you are liked and subscribed. Kick the absolute living fuck out of those buttons. And if you'd like to support me in making more videos, head over to patreon.com forward slash Rob Mulholland. You can sign up from a quid over there. You get access to one of my old stand-up specials and a couple of little other bits. And you get your name in the credits. But most importantly, it keeps me going. My Patreon sort of serves as an online swear jar, basically. Because I keep saying, like, big words words on here and getting my, getting my videos demonetized. So if you want me to be able to keep on making the videos exactly as I'd like to, go over to Patreon and chuck us a couple of quid. It's appreciated. Right, let's get back to the video. Like, it's just the fucking posh boy vibes off him as well. In the past, he was sort of presented as this sort of like underground working class hero sticking it to the man. As soon as they said he was from Bristol, I was like, mm, I bet he's from fucking Bath. And then it was revealed a few years ago that, yeah, he's a public schoolboy called Robin. Obviously. Of course he's a fucking public schoolboy. You can tell that he's privately educated by the way he went into his beef with Robbo. In case you don't know anything about this, King Robbo was one of the forefathers of the London graffiti scene. Graffiti and street art are two slightly different worlds, in that graffiti is a working class art form that came out of the streets of New York initially and spread worldwide, whereas street art is a little bit more middle class, a little bit more studied, and it ends up in galleries, right? And because of that, there's a bit of beef between the two scenes. Robbo had claimed to the oldest piece of graffiti in London. Banksy came along and painted over it. Now, the piece was already defaced, it should have been cleaned up, but it was a massive part of graffiti history. And for Banksy to put a piece over the top of it was pure fucking arrogance and hubris. And like, the kind you would expect from a posh boy engaging with a working class culture he knows fucking nothing about. This became a long running beef with each painting over each other's work, and fans of Robbo still paint over Banksy's constantly, whenever they can. Because another annoying thing about Banksy, and I know this isn't directly his fault or anything he's done, 
it fucking winds me up the elevated status that his work has on the trains on tfl the workers are trained to spot a banksy in case they don't accidentally wash it off as soon as a banksy appears it's either covered in perspex or taken off the wall and put into a gallery the response from government and authorities in canonizing banksy in this way suggests that only this one posh white man has valid art to put onto our streets which is just not the case there is beautiful amazing street art going up all the time and no one person should have more of a right to do it than others that's the point of fucking street art it is democratic so to see other people's work carefully cleaned off banksy's when he paints over other people's is fucking irritating and while we're here i'm not having that fucking shredded painting either that was definite fucking bollocks there was no way the gallery didn't know what was going on there they had that painting for six fucking years for a start it's gonna have to change the battery have you left the battery in summer for six years it doesn't fucking work afterwards if sotheby's managed to not find a whole shredder inside the frame of a painting that they are selling that should worry every single art collector on fucking earth those are the people telling you that it's worth spending eight million pounds on that fucking rothko blob and by the way chimp parliament 10 million pounds fuck me and look i'm not having a go at anyone who uh, appreciates his art if you like it lovely get yourself a little tote bag with one, with it on brilliant enjoy it but just it's not good art and it doesn't deserve its elevated place in society he does not deserve to be the figurehead for street art he just does not it's not good so he's a posh boy he's a thief he's a hack he's boring it's stupid and it's not even skillful what he does fuck banksy it's fucking shit thanks very much to my patrons if you'd like to let me know what you'd like an opinion on stick a topic in the comments below i'll be back with another one of these next thursday catch you later bye